So I want you all to see that the cards in the deck really are different. They're not all the same card. Uh, what's your name? Mike? Yes, Megan. Megan, nice to meet you. Megan, I would shake your hand, but I don't want you to drop the baby. There we go. Thank you very much. And uh, let's see, your name, sir? Andrew. Andrew, nice to meet you. Andrew, I'm Eric. Thanks for coming. And Aaron. Aaron, very nice. I'm Eric. And uh, let's see, I got everybody else. Perfect. What's your name, sweetie? Aria. This is Aria. Aria. How do you spell that? A-R-I-A. Wow, it's a little out of my grade level, but thanks for trying. <laughs> Here's what I want you to do. Uh, your name was? Mary. Mary. I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm just going to dribble through the cards like this. Stick out a finger for me. Good choice of finger, Mary. As I dribble through the cards, put that finger into the cards wherever you feel you want to stop, okay? okay. Wow, no hesitation whatsoever. <laughs> Are you happy with this position? Yeah. All right. Now, one card beforehand would have been a seven of hearts. One card after a six of clubs. But you said stop right here. I'm not going to look. Don't say it. Don't think it. Just remember it, okay? And I'll let the camera see it, too. Yeah. Everybody's got it? Yep. Yes, great. Just like that. Was that fair? Fair. That's fair. Good. I'm going to give it a few cuts so we don't know exactly where in the pack that card is. I want you to focus on it here. Solidify it in your mind. Let's see. Um, your name? Jason. Jason. I want you to focus on that card and get it right here. If it was a black card, I want you to imagine the tips, the shapes on the card exploding like fireworks. Like this. If it was a red card, I want you to imagine, say, uh, red paint splattering on the walls. Boom, like that. You all got that? All of you are nodding with the red. Is it a red card? <laughs> it's a red card, isn't it? Now, that's not that impressive if you really think about it because it's only a 50-50 chance. There are only red and black cards. I could have just guessed, right? So we're going to go one step further. Uh, let's see. If you would, repeat after me, okay? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Close enough. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> and that if you would, repeat Jack, Queen, King. A little bit of hesitation there, so I'm guessing it's probably still in the lower end. Would I be correct in saying that it's between a four and an eight? Yes? Yes, if, it were, if, if that was true, can you all say yes? Yes. yes. Great, all right, we're gonna go, uh, go for broke here. If you would, just name the first thing that comes to your mind. Soft or sharp? Sharp. Was it a five of diamonds? Yes? So was it a five of diamonds? Yeah. Say yes yeah. if it was. Yeah. Yes. All right, pretty cool, right? No, there's a problem though. The problem is that the card is in the deck somewhere. But we don't remember exactly where it was, right? Because the deck was mixed. We're going to try to find it now. If you would, uh, if you could just guess how many cards down in the pack yours is, what would you say? Just give me a number. Wait, what? If you could guess how many cards down in the pack that five of diamonds was, just give me a number. Any number you'd like. Seventeen. Seventeen. Two fingers, no manipulation possible. One, two, three, four. You're all free to come along with me if you want to. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This is the seventeenth card, yes? Yes. yes? If you had said sixteen, it would have been a seven of hearts. If you had said eighteen, it would have been a six of clubs. The deck was mixed. So what are the chances that you got it spot on? That's a five of diamonds right there. That's what she said at the seventeenth position. <laughs> Woo! Pretty cool, right? We're going to go one step further. All right, we're going to go one step further. Uh, if you would, go ahead and put your hands out flat like a table for me. Uh, flat like a table, sweetie. Just like that. Perfect. And you, flat like a table. I'm going to give you some cards. Okay, I'm going to give you some cards and you some cards. Uh, if you would, your name was? Jessica. Jessica. Think of these packets as A, B, and C. Okay. Which one would you like to cut again? C, the one here. I'm going to give you some cards. Put your hands out if you will, sir. I'm going to give you those here. I'm not going to touch them from this point on. It's up to you. A, B, C, or D. You need to name one, okay? But before you do, understand that you must commit. You are not allowed to change your mind, okay? So take your time if you need to. I understand it's a rather big decision. B. This one here. Right. Out of all the packets that you could have named, you chose B. Out of all the cards that you could have stopped at, that you could have seen, you got to the five of diamonds. Most of us believe in coincidence, right? We've seen some of that so far. The question is, ladies and gentlemen, do you believe in fate? Because if you didn't before, it's about time you started. Go ahead and turn over the top card of that packet for me and show everybody exactly what's on top of the five of diamonds. <laughs>